Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spanger's Build Academy and I have another guest lecturer on today's episode and he's going to be talking about the replace blocks command and how to recover some old blueprints and convert them into um, today's uh, Alpha 8 block types. So uh, without further ado, I'd like you to welcome Lucifer uh, as our guest lecturer today. Take it away, Luce. Welcome Galactic Survivalists, Spangagonian Spangonites, and Static Ergonauts. Today I'll be going over some of the replace block commands, uh, some of the more basic stuff. And here you see I have three lovely assistants, one of which is the space station that Spange and Static Air are working on currently. This is an early copy of it. So first things first. I will go over uh, some of the simple ones, especially uh, converting older blueprints and updating the blocks. This is a very simple command, but unfortunately, Alpha 7 and 8, they've made a lot of changes and it doesn't work all the time anymore and it doesn't affect all the blocks anymore. Uh, here you can see where it just says block, retreat block, hit points 200. They're, they used to say, hole and then uh, interior hole or exterior block interior block and it's, it's changed name several times but what you need to do is first thing you need to do is type in di in the console and this will bring up your your debug info and this way you can look at it and see the entity ID, which on this is 1019. And let's do the first one, first conversion, which is uh, replace blocks, one word, space, and then the entity ID, which is 1019. And then from there, you're going to want to type minus alpha 4 and this takes a little bit while it calculates shortly after alpha 7 they did something and this process takes a lot longer than it used to it used to be pretty instantaneous as you can see there it says that it replaced 37 blocks but you can see here the hit points are still showing as only 200 where they should be 500 so it did not especially these full blocks here uh, it should have been converted and it wasn't now some of these slopes will uh, will not convert at all and those have to be manually replaced uh, so what you can do here now is you can do the uh, the whole replace uh, older older models like this older blueprints it's usually just whole so you want to do replace blocks one word again and then what you want to do is put in the entity id again space and then what you want to change which in this case is just whole and then you're going to type in what you want to change it to so it'll be whole space and then it will be whole combat full large and this is all one word and this will convert regular hole into combat steel and I guess it helps if I spell that correctly there and it replaced 157 blocks and you can tell by the texture change what blocks were replaced and as you can see slope blocks still they don't convert and now this is a, a new thing with alpha 8 these thin blocks don't convert and even if they hadn't converted before what you used to be able to do was type in the exact same command before except this time you would go whole combat thin large and it still doesn't work so some older blueprints you're just gonna have to manually replace them so let's go to another one. This one's from a really old alpha, and I believe this is when uh, this is when small vessels and capital vessels use the same block. So as you can see, the windows here are only 25 hit points, 
and the regular blocks are 50 hit points. So what we'll do is we'll try that alpha four command again, replace blocks, space, and then the entity ID 1022 space minus alpha four. Yeah, I would suggest if you are an admin on a server, do not do this because this will absolutely kill your server. And there we go. 38,000 blocks converted. And now you can see the windows have 250 hit points and the blocks are now steel block L with 500 hit points. So some of the blueprints, some of the older blueprints, this will still work on. Okay. So now we've gone over converting older blocks. Let's go on to a uh, regular block conversion. Uh, here we are at the space station. And as you can see, these are armored concrete blocks. I've added some thin blocks up front here just to show you how to do some stuff and the commands. So let's start with the basic, uh, which would be mostly the full blocks. Let's say we want to convert the armored concrete blocks into combat steel. So go back into the console again, type out replace blocks. And the ID number, space. This time we are going to be typing out concrete armored full. Um, wood and concrete, they have no small version, so you actually don't have to type out large or small or any of that. Uh, just concrete armored full, and then we're going to convert it to whole combat full large. And there we go. Blocks replaced. And now you'll see the textures change. And these are now combat steel. Some of the blocks you notice were not changed. These are because they are thin blocks or half blocks. So what you will have to do for this is you will have to go concrete, armored, thin. And then what you're gonna convert it to is whole combat, thin, large. And there you go. Now all the blocks should have been converted. And let's say you want to get a little fancy and you want to do some uh, different kind of texturing here and you already have everything separated the way you want it. Uh, let's say these thin blocks here. I want to change them to, let's say, wood. So here you would type out replace blocks, space, entity ID number. And then we're going to go whole combat thin large and we're gonna change that to just wood thin and there you go and this is the same thing you if you want to change the entire thing to wood you would just go uh, whole combat full large and then wood full and now it's all nice and woody the uh other commands would be uh let's see we've got Alien blocks, which would be alien thin and alien full. Um, again, no need for uh, large or small because it only comes in the one size. You would also have concrete full, concrete thin. Uh, and then there'd be the, the uh, concrete armored full and concrete armored thin. And for metal blocks, it would be whole full large or whole thin large and that will change it to just normal steel and uh, 
armored, you would go whole armored thin large or whole armored full large. And those are the different options. The window blocks are a little bit more complicated and I could probably get into that another time. There's a lot more commands for just the windows and the shutters. So this is just your basic block conversion. If you want to do a quick conversion on any of your bases and change the different, you know, basic structure materials. And there you have it. Thank you for listening and I will see you next time. Thank you very much, Luce. That was awesome. I hope you guys found that uh, useful, interesting. Uh, if you want to know more about the replace blocks command, there is a link down below in the video description to uh, the Imperion wiki page that covers all the block types and things like that, how to use the command further. But as I said, I hope you found this useful. If you did, consider it giving it uh, a like. Also, uh, I've linked to Luce's channel down below. He's just starting back up again, uh, putting videos out. So head over there, uh, show him some love, hit that subscribe button for me. Um, thank you, Luce, and thank you guys for watching. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.